Hey everyone, this is a DirecTV Resurrection week, I guess. I don't know. Um, just to recap, they one hadn't seen my other ones. There's there's some warnings I want to throw in here, but um, I had DirecTV all the way back to uh, March of 2011, and then I must have been done something horrible like beat children in a prior life and to deserve two years of that stuff. So I quit them, and then uh, there's lots of people, though, in fairness, that have had very good experience with Direct TV, just not me. And uh, so anyways, then they started snail mailing and, and, and bothering me and sending me lots of ads, you know, come back, or we're going to take care of you. And I called them up and I said, you know, hey, because all of the, the emails I sent back saying, hey, stop bothering me, unsubscribe, all that, that doesn't mean anything. I said, I'm not really interested in your service. And they're like, well, what about what's wrong? And I said, well, it was... It was bad etiquette, it was bad service, bad equipment, bad company. And they're like, oh, well, okay, well, we'll take you off our preferred, well, please come back member list, which I'm assuming everyone belongs to the please come back member list. So anyways, then they got funny. They started sending me credit card offers for DirecTV credit card. So if they weren't bogging me about this, you know, about getting me back under their thumb with their service, then they were bugging me about trying to get off me a credit card deal. I mean, if I didn't like the company for its direct TV, I certainly don't want to deal with it where they've gotten under the thumb for finances. So they sent me this. Let's get to the point here. So, oh, can I email again? So they, they send me this little thing, right? And they say, you know, and mind you, if you look over here, you see, like I said, in March 2011, then they keep pestering me, then I finally get them to stop pestering me in August 2011. And now we're in 2010, or I'm sorry, 12, and um, and here we are. I got one today. And it's got this thing, you know, come back. We'll pay for up to $200 of your stuff. And this relates to an earlier video I did. And if you look down here, it's a Visa debit credit card. And ca card valid throughout this expiration period, which you need to know. And also, they say that you can use it as cash. Um... That's that's the same crap as before. Like when I went to direct to, um, discount tire and they gave me you know same as cash off my tires. That wasn't too bad. That that was fine. You know that I still got a discount. But what you need to take away from that is that's the same type of card. And a lot of you I think are going to be looking at this. And if you decide to go direct TV way, maybe you got Comcast or something like that. Um, and you're thinking, well, you know, I'll, I'll just take that card and I'll pay off the balance and I'll just throw it in my checking account or I'll pay a credit card and, and take care of that. Don't do that because um, it's not going to work. One of the stipulations of this Visa debit card is you can't use it. They're lying. You can't use it um, to put cash in your account and you can't use it to pay off other credit card type medium. So if you're thinking about using this type of offer, I wanted to warn you. Also, here's a tip from me, Guyu. Uh, if you're going to go ahead and go to direct TV way, these guys are worse than the worst of collection agencies out there, I'm betting. Um, you know, if you're going to do that, here's what I recommend. Even if you do give them your direct email, when you respond back, you actually are sent to their website where you have to respond. And what you can do is you can pick up another email specifically for this, and then you can have that forwarded to your main email. You're going to have to call them anyways when you have issues, because you will. Um, when you have to resolve debt issues or billing or whatever, and you will. So what you do is you, you create a new one, make sure it's a reasonable password. You have it forwarded to your new account, make sure it doesn't go in the spam folder. And that way, when you're done with DirecTV and you've learned your lesson as I have, you'll be able to just cancel that email or check it once in the blue moon just to see what's going on, and the harassment will end. I didn't learn this lesson in time, but I'm reaching out to save you. So again, you know, good luck with that. Uh, there are people who have had very good experiences with DirecTV, but there are a lot of people who haven't. Um, it's been kind of a shifty, shifty little experience for me. And I recommend if you, uh, you know, you can always add them to your spam folder too. That's always a possibility. But this way they get uh, the least number of personal information to sell. There you go. Um, hope that helps. Anybody's got a question? Let me know.